Hey uh, guys, this is a review on the new August Burns Red CD. It just came out, I think, yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I haven't bought it yet. I just downloaded it to listen to it, make sure it's worth the purchase, and I'm just going to say it up front, it totally is. So, I just want to say that, because I haven't seen any reviews of you know, this all over on YouTube, so I just want to make the first one. Just to give you some insight if this is your type of album, or you should buy it um, and best, you know, because this, this is a really fucking good band. This, this is excellent. This is an excellent, excellent album. And I am a total always pretty bad horror. Uh, one of my favorite bands. But so you're never, you're never sure, because the thing is that metal horror, you know, very generic at times. But delivers, delivers on every level. It is amazing. That's that's I'm not, I'm not my point. I'm not exaggerating at all. This is some serious business. So let's get to it. Well, first of all, um, I I definitely noticed. First of all, when I first started to see the the bubbles, the, the screaming, um, it it has a very distinct pattern. It isn't just like like like. Just going for it, it's just some stops and some rhythms. The rhythm, the rhythms for the screaming is very unique. Um, it's, it sounds kind of death metal-ish. It, it still sounds like, like I mean the rhythms. The, it sounds like metalcore vocals, but like the, the way he he screams them, the pattern of it is very death metal-ish. Uh, I also the second thing we noticed from straight up front was the the riffs. The riffs are. Uh, like you know, everybody knows it. The carpet for is red You know, they still have those, but it really did like it extended its grasp and just went. Like at some points, I felt like I was listening to some like if it was instrumental, I would have totally thought it was listening to some melodic like death metal or some technical death metal, or, or or at times I even felt like it could have been listening to classical metal, like you know, some stuff like Judas or something like that, Judas Priest. But it really is. It extends um, throughout. Like the riffs are very just extended throughout metal history. Like I guess you can say it has different types of riffs from different types of metal and incorporating them into the August Burns Red sounds. So I thought that was really really good, and that's a definitely a plus. So how could that be a plus? Um, other thing, the third thing I noticed while well, I did the first leak, not leak, did the uh, August Burns Red put it up? They put it up. The first track was no, it was Empire. It was Internal Canyon. When I saw it, um, I heard it. Uh, there's one one with it was a guitar solo, and that's what blew my mind. Like I know they did uh, many guitar solo in at all, but they, they they put a really kind of Santana-ish feeling sort of guitar solo. It, it had this vibe because I explained it about how to incorporate into the song, but it had this really different sound, and I thought the the, the guitar solo was magnificent. It was, it was very different from metal core, 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 core. Or anything else you can imagine from just like the times, so it's different than what, was, what a lot of bands are putting out, and that was a pretty good thing. They just commented over a guitar solo, you know, damn, it was a good one. I was like, wow, guitar solo, damn, that's awesome. I hope they put more, and they did, and they're all great. All of them. All of them. Plus. One thing that I, didn't, that, um, I noticed, would, so the other thing I was noticing was like the intros, like they have good intros, but they weren't on the same level as to say Mariana's Trench, that that intro was legendary, I think you can all agree with me if this is an intro, it was really really good, it was very calming, very melodic, very, yeah, it was very original, and it just blew my mind, and it picks up and just skyrockets the heaviness, and I was like, wow, but, so yeah, I was... It was so it was like oh no intro like that but then there was this one it was the last song I heard actually so it was caught to be a surprise I was I was already expecting not an awesome intro uh, so it was like carp dm carpe dm whatever you want to spell that um that intro blew my mind I was like I was like oh well I guess you know they can't do everything that's awesome in history so that was the same to do listening to it now no I think something like oh shit. They delivered, and they did, they damn well did. So outside of intros, guitar solos, riffs, and vocals, um, I also noticed the, the cuts and the endings. Like, like when a song ends, you can tell that it's the ending, and you're not left wanting more, or you will have wanting more, but you know, this is the ending of the song, you're just going to listen to it again. It sounds like an ending. It doesn't do this, this thing that a lot of 
bands do that I, I know and I think I always heard it, did it once or twice like like the song fades out. I, I don't like that. I don't like it when the songs fade out. It makes you like the song is incomplete. You know the song just ends and that's it, that's the end. And I thought that was great as well. Yeah, that's another thing. Um something else I noticed as well was like interludes, the interludes in the middle of the songs were great, but I know I'm saying great a lot, but it's, it's just everything about this is great, really, <laughs> I love this magnificent, and like the interludes, they can be either melodic, or just have these really weird vibes, and there's this one part, um, um, uh, I am Latino, so I know about this stuff, uh, like an internal canon, that it has these interludes, which is basically this salsa, boleto, kind of vibe, like with, Spanish guitars and stuff like that, and I was out of nowhere, that was insane, and I was like, whoa, how did they totally manage to incorporate that in a, in a good way, like, it doesn't sound bad, so yeah, another thing was the bass, the bass is much more present, Dustin is much more present in this album, you can, you can totally hear the bass very easily, and I like that, because Dustin is a great bass player, the thing I always noticed was, uh, the, the presentness of the bass was in breakdowns, the breakdowns, this band, this 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 album has some of the best breakdowns of, of all time I've ever heard. Like like it's one of it's had some of my favorite breakdowns ever. And the the thing was that you just feel so heavy because the press like the, the bass is more present in the in the breakdowns sometimes more than the guitar. So it doesn't it doesn't sound like chugga chugga. Like if you know what I mean, it's a, this is like chugga chugga sound. It sounds like it sounds like a thrashing sound like tar tar. Like the thing with the with the picking of the bass, it sounds really thrashy. It sounds really. I don't know, it's a really unique breakdown. I've never heard anything like that. It just sounds so thrashy. It doesn't sound like a chugga chugga. A chugga chugga. Uh, on all, this is a very concise review. This is in like detail completely. I'm not gonna go song by song because I don't, I don't, I don't have the patience for that. I have to break them all apart. But the thing is that the, the, the flip, what I know is about August, this is, this is in my opinion their best CD. That's, I'm going out there through that. This is my favorite CD by now. Far. This is one of my favorite bands. I mean, that's a lot. They deliver the, the, the production is great. It all sounds fabulous. The, the drumming is excellent. And Mike Rainer is a beast on drums. Jake's screaming is is very different. It sounds a lot harsher at times. It sounds like like, like he has motion behind it. It's really great. And the other thing about this, that the thing that struck me more about this, is that this band has reached a level kind of like like between the buried and meme or protest the hero. Which is such a distinct sound that you can even you can't even um, like label them like it, it's a completely different. Now this isn't metalcore anymore. This is this is August Burns Red. If you don't know what I mean, this is not typical at all. And this is just something completely new. This is this is something new. This is this is innovative, and it's excellent. Uh, uh, so and this definitely goes into my top albums of all time. It's one of my favorite. So. What else can I do? Just give it like 5 stars, 10 out of 10, okay? Gonna say, this is perfect for you. This is the perfect album in my opinion. So just go out there, buy it, and buy a t shirt as well, you know, for the band. So they deserve your money. They work really hard, as you can tell. They, they really care about the fans and, and the, the things they put into it. So yeah, just buy it.